Welcome to another episode of the Joe's Podcast. I'll say this is episode 4A, 4B. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, it really would be episode 5, but episode 4, forgot to turn the mic on, so it's a little hard to hear. So, you know, so take two. we can't just put that out for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We got to give it to you right, give it to you nice. It's all right, though. Hopefully this one will just be better. Mm-hmm. Usually gets better every episode anyway. So welcome back. And enjoy. Right. Last song I last song I listened to, fuck it. I'm still gonna say Rockstar Vipers and Chains. Oh, just yeah. to put that back in here. <laughs> Shout out to Gunner. Mm-hmm. Number one album. Shout out. Great job. Should have wore a chain. I still need one of them chain. Oh, no need to chain, <laughs> brother. Uh last song I listened to was Hate Me When I'm Rich by Juwan Ford. Y'all go check that out. That slide right there, man. It's a hit, baby. Well, I was going to jump into the news, but then I got on Twitter, and I forgot all about this. This is a great news segment. All right. Now, shout out to everybody that got their stimulus checks. I'm still waiting on mine, but shout out to y'all. <laughs> Me too. Shout out to, <laughs> I guess, shout out to the niggas that's still on unemployment. Y'all still, hey, y'all whole night. Squeeze them. Y'all don't want Y'all don't want to get no job. Y'all making more money right now. Do your thing, man. I ain't mad at you. Well, there are people that's getting unemployment right now. But there are also people that are trying to get unemployment back. What you mean? Kroger sent, are sending out letters right now requesting money back from people that they paid oh, during my goodness. the quarantine because yeah. apparently they paid them too much. Say, nah, so I gave you five racks. I was only supposed to give you three. <laughs> I might need you to give me yeah. two racks. You no, know what I'm saying? I might need you. Like, um, I want that, like, right now. Like, I, I need that. They are offering you to pay it in full right now, or you can pay it in payment plans payment that plan. consist of either three or five payments. Say, bruh. And they also let you know that if you do not pay it, that they have no problem taking it to a collection agency. Ooh, them, that means go on your credit. Oh, man, they... And this was in Hutchinson, Kansas. Wow. No shout out. (laughs) They got people that are literally saying, I'm not going back to work. (laughs) Like, man. And people that are willing to go back to work, y'all trying to get the money back from them. Say, uh, you was gone too long. Give me that money back. Then you try to get some money from me. For real. Can't even quit either. Say, nah, we we still need that money. We got all your information. You filled out that I-9, all that tax information. We're going to come get you. It's good. That's insane, bro. That shit is wild. Like, like <laughs> that sucks. I, mean, you owe, I owe money to my job. What? <laughs> you supposed to be paying me. Yeah. So that means my next paycheck. I know I ain't got it. Yeah. I owe y'all. What? <laughs> Come on, man. Stall me out, Debo. Stall me out. I understand. It's quarantine. Come on. Hey, going <laughs> crazy, bro. Going crazy. Another news segment. Um, apparently, we have we are in the midst of an impending rat invasion. Mm. Not just like on the street, like they running up in your in your house in your crib, oh. eating up all your food and shit. It's like I need that, homie. Ain't no food outside. Yeah, these are horrible rats. These ain't even like these worse than the rats. The rats that snitch on niggas. It's mutant rats. <laughs> Apparently, the CDC is warning that certain areas across the country are reporting an increase in rodent activity. As rats are now going out into into neighborhoods searching for food because Ooh. the restaurants aren't open. Like in colonies, or I'm assuming Ooh. they said increase, so that means it was no, it was easily noticeable. A colony of rats just walking down the street <laughs> looking for one piece of cheese. And they also warned that due to the circumstances, the rats may also exhibit unusual and aggressive behavior. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So you already know what that means, right? That means they come and bite your ass. Yes, Quick, fast, and in the hurry. And none of that cut the light on and they run. You cut the light on, they coming at you. And they bought <laughs> this big. <laughs> it's going to be a movie. Oh my goodness. Then I just realized what happened to the fucking murder hornets? That was, uh, <laughs> that was just a, a, was a cliffhanger. Like, so now we got murder hornets and rats. Like, you go outside, nah. you got the fucking big ass hornets trying to kill you. And then you come inside, Some, you got rats all up in your shit trying to fight you. Somebody on Twitter said that was just filler. <laughs> that was just a filler episode right there. <laughs> I can't remember who that was, but shout out to you. That was pretty funny. Hopefully. Man. We got one more news segment. 
Okay. This one came. I think I saw this this morning when I told you about it, and I'm All still. Right. I still think it's funny. Donald Trump is threatening to shut down Twitter. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? All you people that's on Twitter every day, y'all. It's about to be over Donald with. Donald Trump about to come through and end all that shit. See, he gave y'all twelve hundred dollars, but he taking Twitter. <laughs> I wonder what Duck think of him now. <laughs> hey, I know that's hey, gotta hurt, Trump bro. No more, he disowned him. Uh uh-uh. uh, that would never. That never was my uncle. Take it away, my pet bird. Yeah. Say I need that, bro. Yeah. That's how I get out to the people. <laughs> that's how I get out there. Apparently, Let them know. Donald Trump went on a rant about mail-in ballots for the presidential election mm-hmm. because of how easy it would be to rig an election off of that. And he okay. basically saying, if y'all do that, I'm going to lose, I guess. Okay. Well, apparently, Twitter, for the first time ever, they've never done this before, they decided to put a fact-check disclaimer on two of his tweets. Oh. Like, at the bottom, it's like, hey, so we gonna see. Check, you might want to check the facts on mail-in, mm-hmm. mail-in ballots before you read this tweet. It's not very verified right there. And Trump was not fucking with that at all. Yeah. Because then he started to go on another rant about social media and shit. Ah, he don't want people <laughs> knowing that he don't always know everything. He said, Republicans feel that social media platforms silence conservative voices. We will strongly regulate or close them down before we allow this to happen. What about minorities and everybody else having a voice? Mm-hmm. But then, I guess, Twitter messy. So, you know, Twitter probably thought... It, like, oh, he ain't talking about Twitter because he didn't say it. He yeah. said social media so platforms. They, they jumped on him, huh? So he got back on Twitter. Ooh. He loves Twitter, but he going to shut Twitter down. He got like 80 million followers. And he always on there. Every time I see something, How he, he got said, 80 million Twitter. followers? He booming. He always talking that shit on Twitter. Like this. I don't know why you want to follow Donald Trump, bro. Then he tweeted, Twitter has shown that everything we've been saying about them is correct. Big action to follow. Ooh. So... Dang. Say something. You got any crazy I, shit you want to tweet? You might want to him get that shit out there. Get it out now. If you're trying to give, go viral. To it, it don't work no more. Say you ain't about to go viral no more. That's it. Damn. Y'all talking about Donald Trump. He even got mad now. <laughs> uh, I got a little news story. Let's see here. We got. Oh, so update. First off, let me get to that. On the Jania DeJounte Murray thing we talked about last episode, I was wrong. Well, not wrong, but the source I had was not verified. So she got on Instagram and said that he didn't do any of that, never created a fake page for her. So everything is copacetic. Yeah, big apology. We don't like to do that type of stuff. We really typically don't participate in that type of stuff. I just thought that was crazy as hell. Yeah. Just Joseph, just fucking for around. real. Like, come on, bro. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't pass that. Don't up. take anything on here serious, really. Yeah, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. It's up to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. How you take it is how you take it. But yeah, shout out to Dejounte Murray. Mm-hmm. Keep doing shout out. things. Um, and some sports news: Naomi Osaka became the highest paid female athlete ever in history. I guess for like a yearly salary, she made thirty seven point four million. Dollars like over the past year, I so still feel like they have, there's been a woman athlete that made more than that in a year, though. Yeah, hey, 30. Either way, shout out to her. Yeah, she's that's breaking, crazy. Breaking barriers, shout out to you, but for real, but that's that's dope. Yeah. 37 million from, Jap- from Japan. Uh, yeah, I'm she, I think she might, I think well, that might be the mixed Asian. one. Oh, she mixed, I think so. Oh, damn, okay, yeah, shout out to her. I think so. <laughs> Cause that's the uh, that's the young girl that when she went up against Serena, everybody was talking about. It Cause she was with oh, like everybody. Ass. Oh, I think that might okay, be the, this okay, might be the okay. same girl. About now. Yeah. Oh yeah. She, she cold. cold. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-seven point four cold. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But uh, apparently, movie theaters are gonna be uh, there's a different future form that we might not per se, per se known about. It might look like an Apple Store in the future. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, the movie theater industry is facing quite a crisis with uh, going to the Apple store. Yep. <laughs> with serious challenges coming from like streaming platforms and all that. And then with coronavirus thrown in, ain't nobody in the movie theater. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just because they're not open, though. Yeah, they but it's like, not go. but think about how many people really go to the movies like yeah, that anymore. Nobody. Not well, like it's just a big movie comes out. Exactly, it's people aren't in there. So and I mean, and then now everybody fire sticks and stuff like that. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. They're going to find a way to not. Exactly. <laughs> all those, like Apple, Netflix, Amazon, all those companies, they made a way for people to stay at home and enjoy these movies from the comfort of their own couch. So I ain't got to go to no fucking movie theater if I don't want to with them high prices. But, you know what I'm saying? They, Amazon is looking to buy out the AMC theaters, which is like the largest chain in uh, North America. So if they get that, they can, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's always an AMC theater. Yep. So then, let's see. I had something else. You know what I'm saying? So being that they losing so much money, uh, shit, some of them might have to declare for bankruptcy. Because it's like nothing. just buy them? Yep. So, so the price got better. They probably, and they could like different ideas. They could do is like, you know, what I'm saying, so if you got like a movie theaters at all. No, no, no. See, that's where that's where the smart smartness of these tech companies comes in. You can like Amazon can do. They partner with Whole Foods. So what you can do is with your Amazon membership, you could possibly uh, buy like unlimited movies whenever you want. And then you get the unlim- unlimited food uh, package. And then oh, that okay. shit will be live. So either you can do that from home or you can go to the movie theater and you can do all that. You know what I'm saying? So that's something they could do with that. But, hey, we're we, we going to see the future of what movie theaters hold because right now it's looking pretty pretty grim. I thought that was pretty cool, so I thought I'd share that with y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <coughs> but, yeah, moving on. Bienvenidos, mis amigos. Aprendamos español. Let's learn Spanish. Today's phrase. Amigo, voy, voy. Ah. Take two. Hey, play us fuck up too. <laughs> Amigo, voy a redondear su culo. Dude. I will roundhouse your ass. You might recognize that that line from Step Brothers. One more time for your mind. Amigo, voy a redondear, redondear, excuse me, su culo. Amigo, voy a redondear, su culo. Thank you. Gracias. Come back again for Aprendamos Espanol. And also... Can't forget the lovely and the loved either or. <laughs> either or. Either, either or. or. <laughs> All right. Either or. Win a championship, then go winless every season after. Or. Forever. Forever. Un- or <laughs> un- while you alive anyway. Oh. You ain't going to see him win again. Or. Ever? Like. Ever. Not- like you're not gonna see him win. No wins. No wins. He's Nothing. Win a regular season. Preseason either. Y'all go undefeated in the preseason. How about that? <laughs> and then you just winless, no matter what. Just got the stain on you. Or, or go to the championship every single year, but you gotta lose Buffalo Bill style. <laughs> Like, not gotta, but you lose. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna lose. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, fuck, I gotta go. Man. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, you just gotta go with the championship. At least, at least in that scenario, you win one. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Hey, we made it to the mountain. In other scenario, you don't win, you just losing. Yeah. Nobody can no never game. tell you that you You don't have didn't nothing, do like, you don't even have memories. Just like a conference champion, basically. <laughs> Every year of your life. But, hey. All right. Would you rather either or be a billionaire living off grid or live in a compound like Drake's, but you got to go to work every day, 24-7. Not 24-7, but seven days a week. I'm my yeah. bad. Billionaire off grid? Yeah. Either way. <laughs> All a, right. That's an easy one. But it's tough with that because unless you got like hard cash on you all the time. I'm a billionaire. Yeah, but of course I always got hard cash on me. All right. I hope. <laughs> but you got to bury it. off the grid. Like I, this was planned. That house is probably going to be made of money. Like the whole walls. Oh, man. <laughs> so whenever you leave, just like, all right, just about 50000 That should be enough for the day. 
the house will last you forever. Wow. <laughs> All right. Either or. Run a marathon naked in a snowstorm or run it fully clothed in 100 degree heat. Snowstorm. Snowstorm. <laughs> Gotta I'm take this. Gonna, snowstorm. Gonna, like, at least the snowstorm, I, I, I would start the marathon. Yeah. <laughs> say, I'm gonna see how long not, I can go. Yeah, the heat, it ain't, I'm not even getting yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I'm gonna pass out. As soon as the gun move off, I'm Talking. gonna be face down on the ground. Head to toe covered. <laughs> if you, just in case you didn't get that. Um, okay. Either drowning in the ocean. In the middle of the ocean, or thrown thirty from store thirty stories up. Wow! Just throw me. Throw. Me. It's a. If you just said jump, it would be harder. Yeah. Because I'd have to actually physically jump off of that shit. <laughs> nah, but somebody throw, gotta toss like, you. Hit, don't even count. Just throw me. <laughs> See, I'm gonna push just it off. That drowning. Oh man. Yep. Excruciating. That might take like a minute. Yep. Depending on how good your lung capacity is. So shit, can, when they throw me, can I put like some brick shoes on or something? Like, mm. you know, accelerate that. Nah, part. I'm just don't drown. <laughs> just stop swimming. Just stay there. No, I'm talking about when they throw me off the building. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Ain't none of that. You falling fast <laughs> enough. You don't need no bricks. I need to speed it up. Nah. <laughs> Enjoy that 30 stories of life that you got left before you hit the ground. Man, like a lifetime? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to feel like forever. All right. Would you rather take a pill that allows you to speak all of the languages of the world or one that allows you to play any instrument ever made? Instrument. All right. <laughs> That's easy. Okay, well, play it well. Let me not just say play it. <laughs> oh, I just assume yeah, playing well was Hopefully, because I mean, like, the other people got all the languages. That's that fucking genie shit. Uh, like, oh, like, I got gotcha. you. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> you can play them, but you ask at every single one. Uh-huh. I might have <laughs> start slipping some of those in there. Like, ah. No, nah, that'll fuck it up. That'll, that'll just, man. <laughs> all right. Last one. Here I mean, we go. I how that other, the last one was, though, with the money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Sneak one of those in there every once in a while. Either have a career as an international assassin or a career as a death row executioner. An international assassin. Yeah. Unless I'm like an, a death row executioner in a state where no one ever gets executed. <laughs> well, what state would that like, be? I don't know. I'm just like. Oh, like a, <laughs> you would have to move to a state with no death penalty. Then they wouldn't have an executioner. You don't want to be that. I just need to go to a pussy state. Like, might yeah, <laughs> just might as be the international assassin. I go kill everybody. <laughs> I ain't trying to be no death row executioner. Yeah. Same thing, just different ways of doing it. One's way more alive, way more exciting. Yeah, but you, I mean, Still you, fucked you, up. I was about to say you mess up in that one. That's it. <laughs> you done for. I mean, you mess up as an executioner. I don't know how you would mess up. I mean, you just probably get like two weeks of paid leave or something. Like, <laughs> ain't not gonna you don't do need that to kill the next person. Yeah, you gotta skip that, one. that was it. You missed your turn, Johnson. You got, you're gonna have to go through training again. <laughs> yep. Get on that computer. You know what? We're gonna dock your pay by fifty cents. Okay. <laughs> That'll teach you. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. You'll come in here ready next time. <laughs> I bet you. Yeah, that's the last one. Oh yeah, that was my last one. Okay. Well, I would have done. The Florida man segment, but apparently there's nothing interesting that, like nothing funny at least that he man, did. Man, that story, he did shit that was just like sad. <laughs> man, that story we heard earlier, that was by Florida man. What was that? Uh oh, about oh, that was a Florida man story. That's, he said it happened in Fort Lauderdale, but it didn't happen today. Well, fuck it, I'll tell y'all about that one yeah. if I can. Just as a it. consolation prize, apparently there was a guy in Florida who allegedly killed his girlfriend. He choked her to death. Now, the story behind it is the guy says he did not choke her. What happened was she was giving him head and she choked on his dick to death. Now, in court, they were trying to dispute this by saying this was impossible. 
no one's dick is that big and it would take too long by the time she choked to death you would have realized she was choking to death and you would have stopped it <laughs> well his argument is let me show you my dick like y'all don't understand it's big as shit that was his argument in court and wow. right now they are going through the decision of whether or not he should be able to show his dick in court Oh man, I ain't even hear that part of the story. Yeah, so say, um, should we allow? It? <laughs> say, Your Honor, one minute. Does he does he look like his dick is big? Uh, could we deliberate about the matter for a bit, Your Honor? Short recess, perhaps. Is it, is it gay? Is it not gay? <laughs> is it gay that we don't? Is it homophobic if like, we don't let him show? What do we do? Then what if what if it what if he's telling the truth? And his dick is like really huge, like I got a seventeen inch. And they don't let him show it, and he goes to jail. I mean, they gonna find out in jail. They, they ain't gonna then they gonna him. free him. They won't. He can he can appeal it if his you know what I'm saying. I don't know, but yeah. Why you just don't take a picture of it and then give it to him? That would be admissible. You could have googled that. Because if, okay. if you give him a picture, so you take a you get your own photographer for the court to take that picture. Who's gonna do it? Man, you find somebody. <laughs> you pay them enough, right? Uh, I doubt it. An employee of the state. I doubt it. Go take, go take that dick pic right quick. <laughs> Get out there. Say, uh, sir, I'm a stenographer. Well, today. That has nothing to do with taking pictures. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> Y'all got me fucked up. I'm not doing it. I need a, I need uh-uh. a big raise. Uh-uh. Big, big raise. Say, oh, no. I type. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh-uh. Well, going off of that, we did the birthdays yesterday, and it was right. a lot of birthdays. Yeah. Well, apparently, it's almost just as much today. Really? Yeah, May 27th. A lot of people were born on May 27th. Happy birthday. Apparently, a savage was born today. A savage? Yeah, that's what uh, Ian Piper tweeted. Shout out to Ian Piper. I don't know what he was talking about, and I didn't I didn't ask because I was at work when I saw it, so Shout out. I kind of just kept it moving. But Shout out to that. Yeah, I'm guessing that was born today. Maybe, maybe he had a maybe he had a kid. I'm gonna have to ask him. But shout out to him. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> hey, just cut that part. Oh yeah. <laughs> Never mind, y'all. But either way, I mean that's the only thing I could have thought. Uh niece or nephew, but that's none of my I business. Was I was just cousin. saying, like I thought that was pretty cool because I was like, damn, a lot of people was, was birthday today. Somebody was somebody a savage was born today for sure. That's all I'm gonna say. Savage was born today. Shout out, out to, to shout out to Piper. But uh, speaking of birthdays, we got um, first we got Lou Gossett Jr. All right, all right. Nineteen thirty six. Shout, shout out. out to him. You know, shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric Bischoff. If you watch wrestling back in the day when you was growing up, you know who Eric Bischoff is. Got to. Shout out to him. Nineteen fifty five. Happy birthday. Frank Thomas. The Big Hurt. Oh, shit, I'm tripping. <laughs> All right, now. Shout out, Frank Thomas. Shout out. 1968. Whew. All right. Makes me wonder how old Charles Barkley is. Man. And Bo Jackson. Shout out to Charles Barkley and Bo Jackson, too. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to, yeah, shout out to them. But I thought you were about to say, shout out to Auburn. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that that ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't happening, baby. <laughs> what? What's wrong with this dude? Um, Jack McBrayer. No, I don't know is. who that is. You, <clears throat> I'm going to show you. You know who that is. You just don't know his name. I didn't know his. I didn't know that was his name either. What he been in? He an actor. I'm yeah. guessing. Okay. Jack McBride. That's him. <laughs> hey, he does not look like a Jack McBride. <laughs> Brayer. Oh, oh, sorry. See. He doesn't look like a Jack oh. McBride because he's not Jack McBride. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Uh, Keep it on today, y'all. Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Shout out R.I.P. Happy birthday. Happy heavenly birthday. 1971. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shout out yep. um, Andre Risen. That's his name. Yeah. <laughs> Andre Risen. Hey, too. that's how you stick by your woman, man. <laughs> Shout out. Man. And last but not least, most definitely not least, Andre 3000. Three stacks, <laughs> baby. Hey, I've been liking and retweeting that all day. And I was sitting there acting like I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, shout out to I looked at you. I you three were stack, man. You know what I'm saying? Andre Benjamin. Like, the AT alien. 
what y'all know about Outcast, man? What y'all know about that, man? Like, shout out, man. Three thou wow, man. Hold up. <laughs> Happy birthday. All right. Today is another good day. <laughs> hey, two good days in a row. Yeah, we had Lauren Hill yesterday. Yeah. Thousand today. And Pam Grill yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout yeah. out to all y'all. Shout out to everybody whose birthday is in May. Mm-hmm. And anniversary. Shout out to mom and dad, my people. Big mama, papa, you know what I'm saying? Shout out. 18 good years. Hoping for 18 more. 100 more, honestly, but you know. Whatever comes <laughs> first. Hey. I mean, technically, it would still be 100 more. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. No matter what happens. As long as we bury them next to each other, you think? Nah. We're still 100. Still married, huh? Man, that's just where they bodies at. Like, right? That ain't. That's not. That's <laughs> not what's in there. You can't judge that. They're not there. That was just. This is just for closure. Yeah. Like, this is metaphorical. This is for me. Right here. Yeah. It's for me. My daddy said he don't want to. I think my dad said he want to be cremated, but I can't remember. I don't want to put that on you, pops. But pretty sure you said <laughs> you might want to be cremated. Man, that's my dog, man. <laughs> I know what to put out the bottom and what not to put out the bottom, man. Shout out. <laughs> to my people though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my them. dog. Um you wanna just roll right in them shout outs then? Oh yeah. You been with your birthday? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, I said it was a lot. It was what oh, is I got some fun facts. Um All right. I look for some reason I looked up two thousand and four, May twenty seventh. Okay. Fun fact. The number one song, May twenty seventh, two thousand and four, was burned by Usher. I can believe that shit. <laughs> let it burn deep down, you know it's finished. Oh, let me see. The song is taking on a whole new meaning now. Yeah. <laughs> Tough. Now we know what he was letting burn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we know. Now we know. And the number one movie, May 27, 2004, was Shrek 2. Yeah, believable. Both of those fun facts, are, I can, I can see that. I remember watching both of those, listening oh. to both those, listen, listening and watching both of those. What was Shrek Two? Uh, th- uh, that was the one where they uh meet the parents. I don't think I've seen that one. For real? Hey, that one, Shrek Two, low key, like the livest one. Better than the first one. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. They right, like for me, they like right there. You know what I'm saying? Neck and neck. You ever seen Shrek 3 before? The third? Yeah, Shrek the third. <laughs> Shrek yeah. the third. Yeah. Shout out Sugar Loaf. Uh, the second one is the one where he turned human. Oh, I have seen that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty I sure that's the second it. one. Yeah. What's the third? I don't know. I've seen them. I feel like I've seen the whole trilogy. I'm pretty sure I have. But they not, it's been a long time. Long time. But yeah, you can go and get shout out. All right. So shout out. To my dog, Chloe. Y'all go check her out on Twitter, Jula Africa. That'll lead you to her music and everything. She got a... Be like right here. Yeah, yeah, down below. Look down now. Down, uh, down shout below. Out shout out Roddy Rich. Yes, sir. Shout out Roddy Rich. We doing <laughs> shout outs. Shout out. His name ain't going to be down here. Y'all know his name already. <laughs> like, you go type <laughs> that in. Uh, You know what I'm saying? She has a beautiful voice. She's in a band. Uh, The name escapes me at the moment. I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> Just go ju- go check out. She'll lead you to all of that. Shout out to Chloe. Um, shout out to Lil Kevin out of Lake Charles. Southside Baby 2 dropped not too long ago. Uh, shout out to him, man. Did your thing on that project, bro. Or uh, that tape, my bad. I don't, I don't want to offend nobody, but you know what I'm saying? You did your shit either way, bro. Shout so out shout you. out to your, y'all go check that out. Shout we'll out put that down below. Charles trying to do something. Yeah. Get out of there out of or stay something. there. Whatever you want to do as long as you're doing something with yourself. Do something bro. positive. Yeah, bro. Shout out to Uplift you. the community. You know what I'm saying? Uplift yourself, more importantly. That's just me, go. <clears throat> that's it? Yeah, that's all the shout outs I had. Because my mom and pops was kind of like right there before. So, perfect. Well, I still don't really have any shout outs. Um, like, I, shout out to the Houston Rockets. Shout out James Harden, Russell Westbrook. We gonna, I'm not going to name the whole team. Shout out to all of them. Y'all know who y'all are. Mm-hmm. Um, they know. Damn, that's it. I really don't have no shout-out. Shout out to the Saints. I had a story about the Just Saints cause. that was on the last episode. I didn't feel like getting into it again. But shout out to the New Orleans Saints. Shout out Breezes Christ. Breezes Christ. 
Shout out to them. Um, that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. That's enough shout outs. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to see you next time around yeah, the way. We y'all, appreciate it. Y'all come jokes with us again. You're more than welcome to. Episode 5 coming very soon. Yeah.